Hello and welcome. In this video, I will take you on a journey through the first 30 minutes of the game Astroneer. My aim is to give you an unbiased, raw look at the game, without the worry of major spoilers, and in a super chill format. So, grab a cup of tea, get comfy, sit back, and I hope you enjoy. Right then, let's get on with it, shall we? Um, we're going to start with a new adventure game. Let's go. Um, just to let you know, I'm using a controller. I play a lot with controller, and I'm comfortable with it. So, meh. It works really well with the keyboard and mouse, but um, because I've played so many hours with the controller, I find it very, very difficult to adapt. But you may see me do inventory management using the mouse. A bit cheaty, so anyway. Whoa, what's this? We just landed. Arrived on silver. Okay, so get out of there. Perfect. So you'll see there's lots of tool tips in this game. So there's no reason for you not to sort of know what things are. As you can see there, that's a shelter, it's a base building item, a permanent base, shelters provide. A shelter provides a safe point, power, and auction. So it's basically where you start, really. And then you've got this over here, which is what just says mission log. All right. So we don't know what that is yet. Let's find out. It says view and track the status of exo training and exploration missions. Listed up. Um, so we have arrived on silver, um, and we get a reward. Oh, you get a reward just for starting the game. Um, ready to collect the oxygenator and a small printer. Okay, let's do it. Ooh, shiny. All right. So then it says the next mission, which is active. Wait, there's only two missions. Hmm, we'll see. Uh, Astroneer Basics. Unpack oxygenator. Install oxygenator on shelter. Connect printer to power. Um, and then, oops, press the wrong button. Uh, connect print, uh, retrieve starting gear from the landing pad. Right, okay, so that's the printer, that's the oxygenator. I can pick that up. Uh, it's just to put it in here. Hold to unpack. Boom. There we go. Seems good. Okay, did that do anything? Might have missed something. What else does it say? Uh, connect printer power to shelter. So that's a shelter. Uh, oh, we've got these little things here, look. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, I've got thousands of hours in this game. Um, but that's not going to be helpful to you when you're first starting out, if I just skip past everything. So I'm playing it as if I've just started playing it. So I hope you don't mind. Anywho. So I think the top tip is just to keep going back to this mission log to see what, what's, what to do next. Look. Uh, so we've just got another reward. Yay. We've got tethers. We've got bites. Um, bonus bites of uh, 500. There we go. Um, so let's do that. Let's go. So what do we get? What do we get? We've got some tethers. Oh, and that's it. Okay. So what's next on the um, breathing space? Connect a tether to the oxygenator. Now, people who know me quite well know I don't like using tethers, but that's just me. So I'm not going to put you off. They are great. Don't clip that. Right. So, um, so I've got them on my shoulder. And I know that on... Um, I think on keyboard you'd press T, but on the controller it's the left shoulder button if it's on the left shoulder, and the right shoulder button if it's on the right shoulder. So I'm going to do that. Just tap it up. There we go. Oh, it's pretty as well. It's Christmas lights. Let's go. So it's another meeting. Uh, meeting? God, I've got work tomorrow. Thinking about meetings already. That's another mission complete. 
and it's given us some more. So back to the mission log. Um, let's collect our rewards, which is a canister and some more bikes. Boom, let's go. Grab that. And then we've got two more missions. We've got one called resourcing, which is to gather compound and gather resin. And then we've got another one called landfilling, which is to fill canister with soil. So to save you a little bit of time, um, you can see there's resources here. This little thing sticking up there. Looks a little bit out of place, doesn't it? And over there you've got your macaroni with cheese. You can see some more over in the distance there. Got some more resources there. They're, they're the sorts of things that you need to look out for. And if you go up to them and bring out your terrain tool, which it doesn't tell you to do actually. Um, on, on the controller, it's um, X on the Xbox controller. Or square on a PlayStation controller. Or... Uh, is it not Q? No, Q brings up your backpack. E. E on a, on a, on a, on a keyboard. Uh, but if you hover over it, you can see that's a uh, compound. Right, now you can see I'm running out of oxygen. Look, this here is your oxygen thing. So you want to get back to there. Now, best thing to do, I think, early game, is just to use tethers. Don't judge me. Right, so now... I'm using the tethers. You can see the little blue line. I'm getting oxygen. Yay! Right, but let's not do it there. We're going to go over the other way. There we go. Go over this way. Like that. 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 So there we go. We've got lots of res in there called resin that one's called compound and what do we need to do so um, if you press tab um, no nope, tab um, what is it for the mission M for mission no uh, on a controller it's right on the d-pad there we go I suppose the thing you could do is, is to go into here and have a look uh, maybe on the control settings. There you go. Catalog, tab, terrain tool, E. Use F, context, left, context, right. Backpack is Q. Um, modifiers. Got emote wheel, which is G, action wheel. Uh, backpack, catalog. What was I looking for? I was looking for the, um, was it the catalog? Missions. There you go, mission log. So you don't actually have to be at the um, the pad thing there in order to get to the mission log. You can just do it whilst you're out and about. So what we were doing, we were doing resourcing. So we need to gather four compound and four resin. So let's do that, shall we? Start with a compound. Just dig it up. Nice, look at that. Nice and easy. Oh. I don't think we're going to get enough here, are we? Got two. So I'm just going to grab that. So if, um, for me, if I press... If you're on a keyboard and mouse, um, you can just grab it and move it like that. Nice and easy. If you're on a controller, you have to press... Um, either press left trigger, pick it up, or if you go near to it, and press right trigger it just picks it up but be careful with that because sometimes you might think you're selecting that but you end up picking up something else so let's grab this resin whilst we're here oh so i've just filled the canister so i've just completed the land filling one We've got a new mission. There we go. So I've got the four resin now. Cool. So let's run back. I'm going to pick these up so I don't have to make any more. 
for now. Okay, so we'll go back to here and see what it's given us. We have got um, fill a small canister that gives us some more bites. Um, so we now need to do the compound. So let's find some compound. There's some over there, look, the grey stuff. There's some here. I'm going to grab the stuff over there because it looks like there's more of it. So let's just do that, shall we? Look at that. Looks like there's a lot there, but might be might be lying. There we go. Completed it, mate. That's it. Game over. We've done it. No, we haven't. Okay. Now you don't have to do that. Um, you can you could leave them if you want to. Um, it's all good. Right. So now look, I think my backpack is starting to look a bit full. So let's see if we can remedy that. So by getting these rewards, it's going to give me medium storage. It's going to give me medium platform times two. And then an oxygenator, schematic. So that means I can make another oxygenator, right? So let's do that. Done. Boom. So platforms. Uh, hold to unpack. Let's do the other one. Platform. Hold to unpack. And then you've got storage yay I was just talking about how my backpack was full funny that huh and I'm guessing you can collect all these together like that and if you want to be really silly you can do that and then you can do that you go. right um so if I highlight the med medium storage it says expand all right so that can do that for you look at that so let's pop stuff on here so we've got a bit more room cool um, so what do we need to do next printing up so I need to print a medium printer so what do I need to, to print a medium printer I need two compound and I've got four so let's just do that Right, so I was thinking about giving you tips and tricks and stuff like that, but there's so many videos out there that do all that. Um, I, I would suggest to starting with the game, getting the hang of the controls, going through all the missions and just see how you get on. Um, and then if you want to, you can go off and find other resources that may be a little bit more in depth. Um, but one of the joys of this game, in my opinion, is um, just exploring. Just go out there, start fresh. Um, and just find find the game yourself rather than um, going off and finding a load of resources. Having said that, that, that might be your preference. You may like doing it that way. You may want to go out and find resources. And if that's the sort of thing you want to do, then go and check out Kia Game, check out Tactile Object. They'll have some um, amazing resources for you to sort of get more in-depth into the game. But for this, for this, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to play it as if you've just started and going through it. Right, so we've done the printer. What do I need to do with that? Uh, ooh, more rewards. Look, I've got a schematic, which is the large platform B, and it's given me an actual platform B as well. So let's grab that. So that one is a medium platform A. And this one is a large platform B. So let's pop that over there. And I'm just going to put this on here. Maybe tidy it up a little bit. Maybe put the printer on that one. Like that. And then we can plug that into there like that. 
Boom. Right, what's next? Oh, hang on. Uh, yeah, no, that's fine. What's next? So, we need to unlock and print a smeltering, a smelting furnace. And then we need to refine aluminium from laterite. And that sounds quite complicated if you don't know what it's talking about. So let's take you on a journey to find out what that means. Right, so unlock and print a smelting furnace. Do that. So. <clears throat> do you not remember when I said there's tab? I, I didn't say what it did. I just said tab and you may have seen that earlier. This is your um, research catalogue. So everything in the game. Oh, Mo. Everything in the game that you can build is in here. So there might be spot. You might consider it spoilers, um, or you might be one of those people that like to go through and just look at all of the different things that are in there um, to see what you can build. Um, so that's up to you. I'll let you decide what you want to do there. Um, but for me, we need to print out the furnace. So we're going to find that. There we go. There's the mountain furnace. In order to do that, we need 250 bytes. This is there. And we've got 1,500 so far. So, yeah, let's do that. Unlocked it. Let's go. Um, so now if I go to the medium printer. And then smelting furnace. You can see there that the game has cleverly made you go out and get the resources you need to do this bit. So you've got... Um, you need one compound and two resin, and obviously we've got two and two. That's on us, that we're carrying two and two. There's more over here, but it doesn't count those. They have to be on your person or on the platform where you're printing. Sorry, that was a tip. I said I wasn't going to do that. Naughty mo. Anyway, let's go. Oh, that's slow, isn't it? That's really slow. Talk amongst yourselves. I'm going to have a cup of tea. Have you got your cup of tea? Now's a chance to have a sip. Oh, nice. I do like to have my tea with um, some chai tea. So I like to have two tea bags. A normal tea bag. A chai tea bag. Mix it together. A bit of milk. No sugar. Just a bit of milk and that's it. Now I just realized at the beginning of the video I told you there wouldn't be a lot of talking and now I'm waffling so sorry about that awkward silence let's have a look around see what's around oh we got a flashy thing over there what's that uh, so got power cells this is all broken stuff Ooh, got a robot. Ooh. Let's take that back to base and guard our base. What do you reckon? Now I've got a guard. Remember that beep sound is you running out of oxygen. So we've got a backpack. What's on our backpack? Oh, you can see there you can print tethers. So if you want to print extra tethers, I'm not going to do that. But if you want to, you just need some compound. You've got oxygen filters. Oxygen filters are quite useful as an emergency. I said I wasn't going to give you any tips, but I'll give you one for free. Always keep yourself uh, um, an emergency resin and have it set on oxygen filters. So if you start to run out of oxygen, you can just create an oxygen filter. There you go. That's the only tip you're getting. Okay. Unless you ask in the chat, then below this video, then I'll be more than happy to help you out. And if you've got this far into the video, to be able to hear that comment, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Right. Okay. So, as you can see, that's just popped that on there. Carbon material. So let's just plug that in. So we've got some power. And then we're going to turn that on. There we go. Look at that. It's doing something. Right. Okay. So if we go back to here. It says we need to refine aluminium from laterite. Which then obviously means we need to find laterite. 
So if you go into the menu, there is a helpful thing called the Astropedia, and it gives you all of the help that you need for all of the different things. So it's asked us to find the resource, which is called Laterite. So we'll go to resources, Laterite, and it says um, found on. Doesn't tell me where it's found on. But it says, oh, all planets. <laughs> I'm such a noob. So it's found on all planets and you'll find it in the caves. Okay. Where's the caves? I bet you're wondering, where's the caves, Mo? We've not seen any caves. Um, I'm going to have to give you another tip, aren't I? Get your tool out and make your own cave. There you go, just do that. Um, oops, I fell down. God, it's a deep one, isn't it? It's going a long way down. Whoops. I'm going to get to the centre of a planner at this rate. Oh, there you go. Region Caves. Done it. What's going on here? Oh no, I'm running out of oxygen. Quick, run. What should I have done? What should I have done? Oh no. Can I make it? Can I make it? I don't think I'm going to make it. Run for it, buddy. Oh no, don't die, don't die. No, don't die. It's embarrassing if you die. Oh, 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 oh. I made it. So what can we do to stop that happening? <laughs> Use terrors. Right, okay, let's just do that. Pretty lights though, I'm not going to lie, I quite like the pretty lights. What's going on with this tunnel? There we go. Ah! Okay. Tip, if you press the... um change it to that you can make a ramp I said I wasn't going to give you any tips but I think if you've been here this long you deserve them okay so now I'm down here Ooh, I'm in a cave look at that now what I would suggest <coughs> if you're just starting out um, is to dig down a little bit shallower uh oh I'm going to use an oxygen, oxygen filter. Look, watch what happens. It basically fills your oxygen up. So it's really important, if you're an idiot like me and run around without any tethers, to have an emergency um, oxygen thing. But what we're going to do is we're going to go back up here. Oops. I keep forgetting, you, you can dig in this game. It's quite important that you're able to dig in this game as well. So I've made it a little bit too steep. I tend to make quite steep ramps, so... Let's just, um... Still too steep. Still too steep. No, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. It's going to be really embarrassing. I think that's even still too steep, isn't it? Yeah. Do it from this one here, look. Now, everybody has fun with, um, with the terrain tool which is the thing I'm using to dig at this stage of the game. It's part of the game. It's 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 like it's everybody feels it. 
So I'm just giving you like a true experience of the game actually at the beginning. Just don't watch any of my other videos where I talk about making um, a true flat because that'd be embarrassing. I can't believe how steep I've made this. I just want to get up there so I can start it again. Uh, let's just go like that. There we go. Put in a hole. There we go. Really steep. I didn't realise I made it this steep. Come on, get up, 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 jump, jump, jump. No. There we go. Right, let's pretend none of that happened, okay? And I'm not going to edit it out, because that's part of the reason for these videos, as you can see it warts and all. So I'm just going to make a ramp using this, look. We are going down. Just a slightly different angle. But we saw what was down there, didn't we? We saw some we saw some resources down there, so it's definitely worth going down. Although because of going at a different angle now, I'm not sure where I'm going to be coming out. I am watching. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we are quite high there. So I'm going to go back up. Oh. some oxygen there we go and then we're just going to go down and just drop some of these down one two three four five oh it's a long way down there it looks like I might die if I fall off of there so let's uh, carry that on I mean, it's an interesting region. I think, I think, um, knowing the game, I think we've skipped a level, like a layer. I think we're on layer two rather than layer one. Um, so you have to be careful we don't fall down that hole. Okay, so we've got a nice ramp down now. Let's pop that about there. Do that. I'm going to put a little brick because I can see something over there. Oh, that's laterite. There we go. That's what we're looking for, right? Just do that. Cause I, don't want to, I don't want to fall down there. Please don't make me fall down there, game. So there's some laterite right there. What else is here whilst we're here? We've got some plants. What are these? Pop coral. Uproot to harvest seeds. Okay. Um, we've got something over there, which I can't point at right now. Um, so we'll go, and get, we'll go and get this. Oh, there's a hole there. Research item. Okay. I'm just going to cover this hole up because I don't want to fall down it. But I do want to get this laterite because that's what it's asking us to do, right? Boom. Oh, this is nice. Give me all the laterite. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's the next level up. Oh, uh, oxygen, oxygen. Oh, look at all that. And I've got room. But it just dropped something then. Did you see that? Oh, what's that? What's that? 
It's a medium generator. We could pop that on there. There we go. Let's carry that back. That, to me, sounds like power. More power. So I think you can see you've got a bunch of missions. You can manipulate the surroundings with your terrain tool. You can go out and explore to find resources to make new things. Um, and that's pretty much the game, right? Um, there's lots of surprises. There's lots of really cool things that um, happen in the game. Um, so I highly recommend you playing it. But if you have watched this video, then thank you so much. Really appreciate it sort of coming to the end of it now um, just do a couple of more little bits and pieces here and then we can finish up um, if you've got this far then please consider smashing that like button and that subscribe button and um, you get to see any other videos that I do the first 30 minutes of um, I'm just going to do that last mission the last mission was what was it again it was to refine aluminium from laterite so I've stuck the uh, Laterite on the furnace and oh we can turn up turn it on. Make it go a bit faster. There we go. Boom! Smelteringly hot completed. And then get my reward, which is medium storage. You can't have too much storage in these games, right? Am I wrong? Um, I've got nowhere to put it though. Uh, we'll stick it on here for now. But there you go. Thank you so much for watching. That was the first 30 minutes of Astroneer. Um, hope you play it. And if you do, write in the comments below. Tell me what you think. Tell me what your thoughts are. It'd be great to hear about it. Anyway, you guys take care. Speak to you soon. Bye.